Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to the Daily English Show. Long time no see. I hope you've been well. I've had a really nice break. I've been enjoying the beautiful spring weather here in Niseko. Over our spring break, I spent a bit of time working on our website, thedailyenglishshow.com. It doesn't look that much different, but it has changed a bit. The main thing we've done is add some lists of the topics we've covered on past shows. You can see on the left there's a list of the segments of the show like Click Here or The Acadia Report and for example if you click on Movie there's a list of all the movies we've studied and if you click on Friday Joke there's a list of all the jokes. So hopefully some people will find that useful. There are also pages with other information that people may or may not be interested in, like a list of the equipment we use. I guess most people aren't interested in that, but every now and then someone leaves a comment asking what kind of camera or whatever we use, so I thought I'd write it all down. Not that I necessarily recommend any of the stuff we use, but if you're curious, go and check that out. Today's guest is Yohei. He's originally from Sapporo, and he's now living in a place in Hokkaido called Hidaka where he works as a rafting guide during the summer and this winter he was living here in Niseko. I met him in Hidafu at the end of March when there was still snow everywhere and I asked him what he did during the winter. Shoveling snow, playing guitar at the pub. Mm. Kia ora, in Stick News today, a three-year-old girl in New Zealand did some online shopping and bought a digger for $20,000. A three-year-old girl decided to play on the computer while the rest of her family were asleep. Her mother had already logged on to an auction site called Trade Me. The New Zealand Herald reported that with a few clicks of the mouse, the girl won the most recent auction listed on the site's homepage, a digger for $20,000. The mother said when she next used the computer, she saw an email from Trade Me saying she had won an auction and another email from the seller saying something like, I think you'll love this digger. She said when she saw $20,000, she got the shock of her life. The woman explained what had happened to Trade Me and to the seller, and the digger was relisted on the site. And that was Stick News for Monday the 25th of May. Kia ora. How long have you been a rafting, guys? What do you enjoy about your job? How did you learn English? Where have you travelled overseas? How long did you spend in Canada? Whereabouts in Canada were you? What were you doing there? Did it help your English? Where were you in Australia? Was that river different from the other rivers you've worked on? Do you have any advice for people who are learning English? About eight years. I feel very relaxing on river sometimes. Sometimes very exciting, sometimes relaxing. School, at high school, and travel overseas. Travel to Canada and and Australia and some other South American countries. Spend about about two se two seasons, which is one year. I don't know if you know the town. It's a very small town. It's called Boston Bar. It's in Fraser Valley. 
And I was I was living in in by the river, which is the river called Nahalat River. It's a very beautiful place to be. Rafting, mm. walking, fixing, fixing fences and, and build house and peeling, peeling woods and cutting, cutting woods and stuff like that. Oh yes, yes, because there was no any Japanese. And we had a very international faces from Europe. From Mexico, myself, Japan. In Cairns. It's quite different, but river is river. But very warm, very, very warm water. Uh, you wanna be in water because it's very hot outside. And also, rivers are very steep. Very, it's actually a very, very nice, river, good river to raft. You have to force yourself to to speak. Like, you can you can see many. You can see people from from same country, in you know, overseas, anywhere. You know? But if you if you gather with like, with, with the same nationalities. You won't. You, you can't. You can't learn much English. True or false? Yohe has been a rafting guide for about four years. False. He's originally from Sapporo. True. In winter, he works as a rafting guide. False. He has worked on rivers in Canada and Australia. True. He has never been to South America. False. And that was The Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye.